I have a Halmone friend. She's technically a grandma. She's in her 70s. At my old gym, one day she started talking to me. And people in gyms don't usually go around making conversation with strangers. And sometimes it's common in Korea that uh, someone wants to talk to a foreigner to practice English, but it's very rare that it's an older person because they're not known for having studied English that much. And her English isn't that bad. And then she says to me, I haven't spoken English since I was in university. I'm like, wow, you, you remember a lot. But I'm interested in learning a lot from her because I've never really had the chance, at least in English, to talk to an older person. She's been around since before the Korean War. She's seen the entire country culturally, economically change and develop so many times. She doesn't go around saying like old people type things all the time, like back in my day, but occasionally something slips out. She's like, you gotta be careful when you're dating Korean girls these days. I'm like, why? She's like, well, back in my day, girls just had to listen to their husbands. These days, they just go about doing what they want. I'm like, your perspective is kind of adorable. I don't necessarily agree, but I'm amused by it. But then I asked her, I'm like, you know, if you're in your 70s now, were you around during the Korean War? And she said, yes. Uh, she's like, my father was a doctor and he had to go into hiding because he was important and the North Koreans were looking for him and he would hide in their house and when people came to the door asking for their father, she'd just have to like make up excuses that he wasn't there. And she said at one point he did get captured and he managed to escape. And later on in the war, their whole family had to relocate to Busan because Seoul was captured. I've realized over time that a liberal and conservative mean different things in different countries. Internationally or by American standards, she's very liberal. She said, oh, I like Obama. I've seen interviews with Trump and he seems crazy. I'm like, yes, he is. But in Korea, she's conservative. She doesn't like the liberal presidents because as she says, she says they try to engage in diplomacy with North Korea. And she says like, you should never trust North Korea. And the reason she believes this, she says when she was young during the war, she would see North Korean soldiers execute people just right outside on the streets, not even with guns. She said they would take bamboo and make them into knives and then kill people with those bamboo sticks. And it made me realize that's why older people are so conservative and so anti-North Korea because they've seen soldiers murder people in front of their eyes. I don't agree that diplomacy is a bad thing. I don't necessarily agree with her Korean conservative stance, but at least finally I can understand you know, why older people may believe that type of thing that they believe. I mean, in the US in the 50s, there was a Cold War and the Red Scare and people were afraid of communist spies and, you know, there was an actual Cold War and there was the Cuban Missile Crisis and the U.S. was at risk of being involved in armed conflict or uh, being attacked by missiles. But the fact of the matter is that aside from engaging in international conflicts like in Korea and Vietnam, the U.S. was not attacked on its own soil and did not engage in war on its own soil. Here in South Korea, that is what happened. People saw these horrors with their own eyes. People lost family members and friends and everything, their entire society. I guess what I'm trying to say is people in the US conservatives who see enemies everywhere and say, oh, we should attack all those other countries because they're our enemies. But here at least people have rational reasons for being paranoid and hating the North because they've seen atrocities for themselves. She said to me, I'm afraid for the next generation how they're gonna vote. I'm not quite as worried as her, but I don't really know how things will be resolved. But I do hope to ask her more questions in the future because she knows so much that I've never learned about directly from a person. I'm glad that she's my friend, my grandma friend.